And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on? Sean here. First of all, hope you all had a tremendous New Year's, a tremendous celebration. I did. I actually went to New York and I got COVID uh, while I was up there, unfortunately. So before you guys worry, don't don't stress. I'm in good health. Just mild flu symptoms. That's really what I had. I actually, the only symptom I have right now is a loss of uh, taste and smell, which was crazy because a lot of people initially get that symptom and then they get the flu symptoms. I got the flu symptoms and then I got the um, loss of uh, uh, taste and smell. So I'm definitely on the mend. Thank you guys for your well wishes. But in this video, we're actually going to be comparing Cloud Pano, which is a virtual tour software my mentor, Zach Calhoun and Annie Romano actually gave me and just really told me about the wonders of this incredible platform. And we're gonna be comparing that against Matterport, something that we've actually only used throughout our company's history. Uh, we've been open since 2017 and we only have been using Matterport, but now we're actually using Cloud Pano. And I'm going to tell you guys why I think Cloud Pano is the superior virtual tour software. We're gonna be going through four different criterias, pricing, uh, the features, accessibility, and support. And then I'm going to give a brief overview of all the stuff we talked about and give my decision. What do I like better, Matterport or Cloud Pano? First episode of 2021, y'all. We're starting right now. What's going on, guys? If you haven't yet, stop, go to our YouTube channel, click subscribe, and click that little bell too so you get notifications whenever we post a new video. You will be the first person to know. Thank you so much for the support, and now the video you've been wanting to watch. Boom. All right, guys. So pricing between Cloud Pano and Matterport, let's get it popping. So guys, all you need to do is hop over to cloudpano.com, scroll down, and you can see their pricing right here. Tremendous. This is probably the biggest advantage and biggest feature that Cloud Pano offers that just absolutely crushes Matterport. So let me tell you what I mean. First of all, they have um, three different plans. The free one, so $0 per tour, and expires in 120 days, four months. That is just unbelievable. You got to think you can rack up so many, so many tours for four months, and then by that time, you have so much money, you can dump that into probably 10 pro plus plans um you only need one though and uh then you're off to the races so there's a pro ten dollars per tour but listen you have the money just go with the pro plus who you can and with this comes with unlimited tours lifetime warranty all this stuff no expiration you can white label and make your own url so for instance my company momentumvirtualtours.com we can make that domain a specific url for our clients so it's very customized you could do it for your clients as well if you wanted to say virtualtour.kellerwilliams.com, virtualtours.berkshirehathaway. I'm sure there's um, legality with that too. So what I normally do is just toursclient.momentumvirtualtours.com. Really simple, right? Put some branding in there so people can show their friends, oh, who did it? Momentumvirtualtours.com. Really simple, right? On top of that, you can add in Google Analytics. Whoever thought we'd do that? <laughs> I'm saying that sarcastically. We do that all the time. Uh, which is a great tool obviously for a lot of different features but you can track oh we got you 120 impressions this month 20 website clicks and we got your place sold and i don't know i mean you can track all of these things as as time goes on so it's just a lot more analytics you say here embed html and media clad panel live video chat I think that's also like a, like a FaceTime video, like where you can help sell these things too, depending upon like whether they're real estate or like a conference center or whatever. Um, so that's great. MLS compliant, fantastic. You can put it in sounds and music, sounds and music, great movie. And also tour privacy settings, which are very important. If you have a school that says, hey, you know, we have some really sensitive information, you can implement certain tactics uh, in the settings to make sure that it's as safe as possible, okay? So that's Cloud Pano's pricing, guys. Now we're going to hop in. This is our, this is Momentum 360's, one of our accounts. We have like two, three different accounts with Matterport. We're paying $389, let's call it $400 a month for this. Could be wrong. I think it's like either $289 or, or $389. If you know what that is, leave it in the comments below. But essentially, this is what you got. You have the professional plan, Pro Plus Business, which we're doing, which I believe is actually 309 a month. So it's 310 a month for 100 spaces. 
Um, then the Business Plus, which is $700 a month and up to 250 spaces. Now, let me share with you guys a story of why this is an inferior method. So let's just say I have, I don't know, and this goes for active spaces, not total spaces, I'll say that. Let's say we have about 150 total spaces, right? But we only really need about 80 of them. You need those active models to thus get reoccurring revenue. If the active model isn't there, people aren't gonna pay you each month for hosting because why would they do that? Their model isn't active, okay? So this is the one main problem with Matterport. And you gotta think, this is a lot of money. I mean, $700, we're, we're shelling out roughly uh, a month between both plans with, you know, after taxes, of course. And what, we get 200 spaces? I mean, we do 200 spaces in a month, no problem. So we're gonna constantly have to keep, you know, billing and, and getting um, Matterport accounts to simply keep up with their active space, which it just doesn't make any sense to me. It's way too expensive for the average person who's just trying to make a virtual tour business. It doesn't make a lot of sense to do that. The Cloud Pano pricing model is a lot more superior and you know, just overall, it's, uh, it's more friendly. It's more friendly to these businesses that are just starting out and there's uh, less barriers to entry. I mean, how awesome is it? You have unlimited tours. It's just tremendous. So guys, that is the pricing between the Cloud Pano software and Matterport. All right, so if we're keeping score, Cloud Pano won Matterport zero for pricing. Cloud Pano definitely shits on Matterport's pricing. So now guys, we're gonna go into the features, okay? I'm gonna compare a uh, model with St. George's School versus a model we actually shot called the Offset at Fittler Club. Two really good models, as you can see. I just want to compare the features between them both, okay? So the first feature, and this is the feature guy I want to talk about most, is you can shoot outside. With Matterport, you can shoot outside, but the camera that you use isn't necessarily compatible 100%. With this, all you need is panos. So you can simply take a drone video or a drone, put a camera to it, take a 360 pano, right? So you can have a beautiful overview just like this. You can put these little bubbles in here as well that show off panos. Or if you simply just want to go into the chapel or go into, I don't know, maybe the, um, I mean, we'll dive into it right here, the atrium, whatever you want to do, you can go into it right now. And the thing I like about cloud pano is it's very specific with Matterport. You have to walk every other, you know, uh, like you have to walk with the spaces of where you shoot the camera. But with Cloud Pano, it's very more efficient. It's just, okay, here's one room, go to the next, go to the next. You don't need to spend so much time just clicking. You know what I mean? And this is something I learned too, just from experiencing it myself is people don't necessarily with big spaces like this want to spend countless time simply clicking on buttons, clicking on their phone. This doesn't make any sense. So this is Cloud Pano and what it looks like. I mean, it's just a tremendous platform. It really is. I, I love this. And something you can see here is these are the white label URLs that I'm talking about. You tour.stgeorge.edu. How cool is that? So we can make a um, complacent URL with your company. Let's say we're working with the Philly Convention Center, which we will be pretty soon. It's going to be tour.phillyconventioncenter.com. How awesome is that? They don't have to say, oh, this is branded by who? By Cloud Pan? No, it's branded by the company that you want. <clears throat> or, you know, momentum uh, virtual tours. So here's the embedded code, guys. You can share it on social media. It's just, it's, it's all here in front of you. It's all here in front of you. Um, what else did I want to talk about? Obviously, you have the Google Analytics of which you can track. You can put in specific tracking links, kind of like how you can do with Matterport. But overall, this is just what you are using. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, with Cloud Pano, uh, you just use Panos and this is what you're walking through. I just think it's a more efficient model if you're just starting out and you're like, hey, I'm trying to like make some extra dough on the side or you're thinking of <clears throat> making your you know full-blown um, virtual tour company. This is a great way to get started. This is a really, really awesome way to get started. So this is Cloud Pano and their features, okay? Now let's hop in over into Matterport. So one of our main guys, Hui Din, actually shot this one pretty decent model, and this is what Matterport looks like. Although you have to click where the camera was shot, so that's the one thing that you will notice in a difference between Matterport and um, Cloud Pano. Now, something that you can do with both softwares, which I didn't show you in Cloud Pano, is these tags. With Matterport, you have a Matter tag. This is what this is called right here, where you can put off specific videos, links. You can. See right here, this is a little painting that I just clicked onto. So I'm gonna go to a Google 
dock right here, which is going to just show you more about that specific painting. And the Fiddler Club is a boatload of wonderful art pieces, and this kind of gives a rough history. But rest assured, you can put in videos, you can put in YouTube videos, all this stuff you can do on Cloud Pano as well. All right. Uh, the one thing that does separate Matterport from Cloud Pano is the, the 3D model. Let's be honest, this is a pretty cool feature that Cloud Pano doesn't offer. With that being said, I mean, you really need this for real estate, I'd say. This is like the, the main thing for real estate. But with that being said, you know, you can just simply take either panos or still images, still images would work better, throw them into MetaReal, which I'll show you guys actually in a bit. Let's do it right now. MetaReal.com. I don't want to spend the whole video on this, but it's a really, really solid um, platform where you can literally take, yeah, 360 photos. Great. And you can make a floor, not only a floor plan, but a, a model, a total, total model. And this is it's very, very inexpensive. I forget how much it is, like five bucks. Um, a pano so if you have you know 20 uh, if you have five panos it'd be you know 25 bucks for um an entire uh, you know dollhouse so really inexpensive but rest assured you can do this too with cloud pano and again you're paying a couple hundred dollars a month with matterport you want to take that money that you save with cloud pano and throw it in maybe to to some meta real uh, floor plans and some dollhouses again just you know food for thought so this is the features and accessibility guys for what i'm paying for honestly i think cloud pano definitely takes this um we're going to be talking about the accessibility of uh matterport and cloud pano in the next but for my money it is two zero cloud pano all right so now we're going to be talking about the overall accessibility between cloud panel and matterport this is distinctly only about you moving throughout a model okay so like I said before, guys, these with Cloud Pano are 360 panos that you can put in and seamlessly stitch together, okay? The thing I will say about Cloud Pano that is annoying is you do have to stitch together all of these panos and then link them to specific hotspots. So Matterport, it just goes with the camera is going. With Cloud Pano, you kind of have to put in a little more work, a little more elbow grease on the back end to go in and, and create this model that goes from room to room. Okay, so honestly, for my money, guys, I like Matterport's accessibility simply because, you know, you don't have to do anything, really. You just have to shoot, upload, and then you get this beautiful model, and, and there you go. I like the, personally, the efficiency of Cloud Pano, but if you're looking for something that is just less work, Matterport's definitely going to be your platform, but rest assured, I mean, how much work do you really have to do? It's stitching together a couple panos, and then it's putting this into the Cloud Pano software, and then it's linking out to a specific um, other room, which it's going to take you maybe an hour to do. And listen, if people are paying, you know, a couple thousand dollars for this, 10 grand, you're going to need to do this. You're going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, need to do it anyway. So that's what I would recommend, honestly. Uh, but I think Matterport takes this one, guys. So to give them at least one score on this, it's going to be Cloud Pano 2, Matterport 1. They're on the board. Okay, guys, scoreboard, Cloud Pano 2, Matterport 1. <clears throat> now we're going to be talking about the support features within Cloud Pano and Matterport. Let's start with Matterport. This is probably more familiar to me than Cloud Pano support. But what I will say is Matterport boasts two extremely large Facebook groups both totaling over 10,000 members. We can put screenshots right here so you guys can go join that if you'd like. But for the time being, if you don't wanna join that group, you have a boatload of scan, edit, managerial, tutorials, uh, forums, capabilities, that and articles that are just simply created for you, helping you uh, to get better with Matterport. As well, as a support feature, if you need to say, okay, like I need a model stitched together or you need something, you put your space URL, your camera serial number, say, hey, I need a model stitched together. Here they are and just leave the two links. You know, let's just say, and people do this for all the time, but let's just say I have a multifamily. I shot one unit up top and I shot another unit below and I want to combine the two. I can actually ask Matterport to do that and make one tour instead of two. Okay, so it's obviously just being more efficient. With that being said, guys, 
there's really no turnaround time and turn like you could email them and they are going to say oh it's going to take a couple of weeks you, there's no definitive time it's just really when they get to it which is really annoying because you can't tell your clients oh like it's going to be next week but it's not and they're just a constant state of when is my work going to get finished so i don't like that at all but for what it's worth the matterport does have a lot of solid you know offerings right here um but that's just really in terms of the uh the, the long turnaround time it's just because they're really popular i mean this is probably the most popular vr solution in the world but you know just because it's the biggest doesn't mean it's it's the best right so that's that now i want to jump into cloud pano cloud pano is a little bit smaller i think it boasts about twelve thousand members where matterport damn near probably has like know, a couple hundred thou i'd say uh, in the us and in the world especially um but what you can see right here is you can join a community there's um, help and uh, FAQs, tips and tricks. And the thing that I like the most is you can actually talk to a live agent. Obviously, it's the weekend, so they're offline. But during normal business hours, you can leave them a message and say, hey, I have a question about X. And they'll answer it right then and there. How cool is that? So you don't need, first of all, Matterport doesn't even have a support chat feature. Cloud Pano does. And although Cloud Pano doesn't have the numbers, they have just as much good information. And I think this chat feature definitely puts them over the edge. And that's what I'm gonna give the extra point to simply because of this chat feature. Um, John and Jade are just absolutely fantastic. And even though they're just two people, you'd be surprised how fast they work. These guys are on the money. They're always on the money. And um, obviously you can send them an email and go to the help page as well. So just for overall ease, I would definitely pick Cloud Pano. Cloud Pano 3, Matterport 1. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we've gone through the four pillars of Matterport and Cloud Pano. We talked about the pricing. We talked about the features, accessibility, and support. Everything you need to know to make an informed decision with Matterport and Cloud Pano. So after tallying up all the points, you don't have to be a mathematician to know who won. Cloud Pano was my overall winner just based off of sheer very, very relative, nice pricing, nice features. Accessibility is kind of lacking, but it's getting better. Obviously, this is a newer software, but they're definitely going to improve. Matterport's kind of capped out. I think Cloud Pano definitely has more um, wiggle room and, and uh, improvement to be made for sure. And just overall support. I mean, like I said right here, how cool, if I can minimize myself right here, is uh, you can just you know have a little chat feature, have a little support chat with John or uh, Jade, whoever's going to be online. And um, yeah, I mean, these guys are even on right now, which is great. So I say, hey, John, making a video about you guys right now. You're awesome. All right, let's see if he, uh, <laughs> let's see if he gets back to me, but or he is offline. But um, with that being said, guys, I would definitely recommend Cloud Pano in 2021. If you're trying to make your own virtual tour company, it's just fantastic. You definitely need this software. $33 a month, you're going to be paying literally thousands of dollars potentially per month with Matterport, and you're still going to be capped. So you got to think $33 a month, unlimited tour to potentially thousands of dollars in subscription fees with what? 250 tours, 500 tours. It's a no brainer. Cloud Pano just for the sheer accessibility and features. Um, yeah, what else can I say? I mean, this is a great platform. Definitely use this. Shout out to Zach Calhoun and my mentor, Andy Romano out in Australia, Aussie. Uh, he's the best. And um, guys, with that being said, I'd love if you subscribe, like. We're trying to get this channel to a thousand subs before 2022. Um, and we have a whole year to get there. So a lot of great content to be made. If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment below as well. Let me know how we did and what you liked about it and just have a conversation. I love answering all your questions personally and just building up that relationship as well. So thank you guys so much. I really love making these videos for you and we will see you next week. Take it easy and stay safe.